Hi, my name is Victoria Fisher. I'm senior clinician here at the Well Up Life Center, and today I want to talk to you about your thyroid gland. What does your thyroid do? Well, your thyroid is part of your endocrine system. Um, your endocrine system is a group of um, organs and um, glands that release hormones into the body to affect changes within it. Um, so your thyroid is a very important part of your endocrine system. Um, your thyroid actually produces two main hormones. The first one is T3, which is your active thyroid hormone, and it actually produces only about 20% of T3. Um, the other one is T4, which is inactive hormone, and that's actually about 80% of your thyroid hormone production. But those two hormones are very important in many different ways in the body and we're going to go over some of those today. So your thyroid, because of T3 and T4, helps to set and regulate your metabolic rate. Your metabolic rate is the rate at which your body utilizes energy. So it's pretty simple, but it's very important for your body to have a very um, well-controlled metabolic rate and the thyroid is, uh, is very important to that. Your thyroid is a backup system for your heart. It's part of what's called your energy triad. Your energy triad are three organ systems together that are the engine that keep your body running. Heart is first and foremost, and then thyroid and adrenals are the two main backup systems for that. So since the thyroid backs up the heart, it actually helps to regulate your heart rate, your blood pressure, and even your breathing. Um, your thyroid, as uh, well as uh, being a backup system for the heart, actually supports digestive function. So a lot of times when the th thyroid is out of balance, um, the digestive system doesn't work optimally, whether that's um, creating symptoms of indigestion or um, diarrhea or constipation. Somewhere along those lines, there could be an impact from the thyroid for that. Your thyroid also regulates muscle control and muscle function, and also if your body can build um, muscle or if it wastes muscle. That's actually very important um, for structure, for function, um, as well as uh, body temperature regulation. If our body has a very low muscle mass, um, even if you're thin, um, then you can still have low muscle mass. That muscle um, the integrity and the lack of muscle mass doesn't really create a lot of heat or energy for the body so you don't really um, regulate your body temperature very well so a lot of people who complain about being cold all the time part of that could be thyroid function your thyroid is also important for brain development and brain function as well as how your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system works the central nervous system is our brain and our spine. Um, our peripheral nervous system is the nerves that come off of the spine. And those are actually controlled in part, not just by the brain, but by the thyroid function and how it's um, operating. Uh, another function is bone maintenance. Um, I, uh, when our bodies have um, poor thyroid regulation, we actually might have um, more risk of things like osteopenia or osteoporosis. Um, so uh, we need a proper thyroid function in order to regulate um, calcium production, um, calcium regulation, not necessarily production, but where calcium is going in the body and how that impacts bone health. Um, it's Overall, the thyroid really supports all of your organ systems and how they work properly. If you want a properly fu functioning heart, you need a properly functioning thyroid. If you want a properly functioning liver, you need a properly functioning thyroid. Um, all these organ systems in some part actually have um, a, a, a very, very tight-knit um, relationship with the thyroid and we need to make sure that the thyroid's up and running. Um, some other things that the thyroid does is for men, it's a backup system for the prostate. For women, it's a backup system for the uterus. So it actually does have an impact on reproductive health, fertility, um, menstrual cycles, hormones, um, all of those um, aspects of the body. And another uh, final function is it actually helps to regulate cholesterol levels. So for people who um, are told that their cholesterol levels are too high, it may have nothing to do with diet, it might, but it could also do with um, improper thyroid function. So if you can get your thyroid properly functioning, then you may actually be able to balance cholesterol levels to um, what your body says is optimal for it. So clearly with all of that, we know that our thyroid's really important. So let's try to protect our thyroid, support our thyroids. And if you have thyroid dysregulation, if you have thyroid disease, come to the well of life. We can actually help get that up and running a little bit more efficiently, try to regulate some of these functions that are out of balance because of a poor functioning thyroid.